So our last video now for induction is to prove explicit formulas for recursive relations um, using induction. And so once again, we've got our basis step um, showing the proposition is true for the smallest element of the set. And then we also have our inductive step showing that if the proposition is true for n equals k, the proposition will be true for n equals k plus one. This is actually gonna work kind of similarly for what we do for um, uh, proving identities. Uh, what, we're gonna, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see that uh, essentially we're just gonna, essentially we're gonna be um, plugging in the previous values and then going through and doing some algebra on them in order to prove our, our identities here. So let's take a look at this example. We're gonna define the sequence b sub n as follows as b sub naught equals one b to the n is equal to two, b to the n minus one plus one for n greater than or equal to one. And we wanna prove that for n greater than or equal to zero, b sub n is equal to two to the n plus one minus one. So we're gonna start out with b sub naught. So b sub naught is gonna to equal two to the zero plus one minus one, which equals two minus one, which equals one, which in fact is our initial condition for the, um, for the identity. So hence, p sub one, all right, which is our basis step, is true. Next, two, we're gonna assume that b sub k is equal to two to the k plus one minus one. Now it's gonna be pretty intuitive. Recursive relations are pretty intuitive on this end. So now, our assumption, we're gonna assume that two, um, that, excuse me, that b sub k is equal to two k, two to the k plus one minus one. We're gonna utilize this statement, okay, substituting in for k. And so b to the k plus one by our recursion is gonna be equal to two b to the k plus one. We'll substitute in now a recursive statement. So this is now gonna be two times two to the k plus one minus one plus one. And this now is equal to two times two to the k plus one minus two plus one, which is now equal to two to the k plus two, right? Cause we're just gonna got two to the one times two to the k plus one. We can add our exponents minus one. And that in fact is exactly what we're trying to prove, right? We wanna show that b to the k plus one is two to the k plus two minus one. Thus, by induction, for n greater than or equal to zero, b to the n is equal to two to the n plus one minus one. And we're done. See? That was not so bad. It, I mean, it turns out that when you're working with recursive definitions, oftentimes you're just substituting in the assumption. It's even more kind of like straightforward than other identities. There's really not, much, not many tricks to it. So whenever we're working with recursive definitions, we've got our basis step, prove it for the first element, and that generally is your initial condition. So you'll go up here, look at the initial condition, plug it in for the initial condition, and then we'll go in and we have our assumption and you'll notice that your assumption, right, is just n minus one of what you're trying to prove. So you can end up just kind of plugging it back into the equation. All right, so that finishes us up.